For decades now, thousands of abandoned properties have been plaguing the streets of Baltimore. But today, city officials are talking about a new bill that could help combat the growing problem. Fox 45's Rebecca Pryor was at City Hall as they talked about some of the details. She joins us now live with more. Rebecca? Yeah, Mary, in a city filled with blocks of blight, this bill in particular would increase the amount of fines on our many vacant properties. Under the new fee structure, the fines would be based on 311 complaints. If a vacant has multiple complaints within a 12-month period, a fine will be imposed for each inspection. The fines start at $100 and gradually increase to $1,000. The goal is to incentivize vacant property owners to quickly address the climbing complaints on their aging property. Councilwoman Odette Ramos is a big supporter of the bill. She says even if the fines aren't paid, this will still create a much needed solution. And again, the goal for me isn't an expectation that they're going to be paid. The goal for me is how can we make sure that some of these properties that are not in REM eligible can be in REM eligible quicker so that we can start the process of moving properties. Now, this may seem like a clear-cut plan, but the Department of Housing and Community Development isn't entirely on board. They say implementing this would require IT upgrades to the current 311 system, as well as the need for more staff to monitor and track the new fee schedule. They claim the IT upgrades alone would cost $140,000 up front and another $50,000 annually. They're also not completely convinced more fees is really the answer. Additional 311 calls aren't going to get them to that point any faster. Where it falls short is really the resources in the market to be able to move more properties faster. From here, the bill will be scheduled for another committee hearing. That's expected to take place sometime in November. Reporting live from City Hall, Rebecca Pryor, Fox 45 News.